shit so bad, I wanna shoot, shoot, shoot like hoops while I'm riding in the coupe. I got what you want, it ain't nothing but a loop. Don't listen to friends, they don't know what's best for you. Yeah. I want you, yeah, bad. I wanna shoot, shoot, shoot like hoops while I'm riding in the coupe. I got what you want, it ain't nothing but a loop. Hi, I'm Unai. And for the past month, I've been traveling Indonesia with my friend Isaac. We spent two weeks hanging out in the south of Bali, in Uluwatu, where we pretty much just served, ate good food, met cool people, and I mean, it was a great time. Since we only had two weeks at this place and our time was running out, we had to figure out a new place to go. And we had the idea of going to another island called Nusa Penida. So we got a taxi from the hotel to the port, and there we had to walk around with big ass backpacks for like 15 minutes trying to figure out where to go but we got our tickets and after waiting for a little bit we got on our speedboat and we headed one hour to finally get to Nusa Panita. We arrived in Nusa but it was not a smooth operation. Alright so there's a little issue because we did not have the fucking name of the place and it was on my computer and we did not have any Wi-Fi. So I had to go to a goddamn store log into the Wi-Fi and shit while the driver's like asking for it. Then we booked it. He didn't have Wi-Fi either. He didn't have any directions. And now we're here. I just shit. took a shit. <laughs> and then I had to town. This man's been burning all my dough. Cause he doesn't, his car doesn't work. So I've just been using my shit at the ATM. I'm broke. He won't pay me back. Yeah, we're ever gonna go try to watch the World Cup. And uh, nice. We got pretty hungry. So we headed out and tried to find a restaurant. We found a traditional restaurant. So we got some Balinese food and it was very good. And later on, we went to watch the World Cup final at this sports bar. And we got some burgers and watched Messi win the World Cup, which was pretty good. I'm from Brazil, so I didn't want Brazil to win, but Messi, Messi's up there. And so we were hyped about that. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on! <laughs> Let's go. The next day, the adventure began with us getting a little bike and headed to Clean King Beach, which is like a super famous like Instagram beach, but we got a little hike in, hiked an hour down it, and the views were insane the whole time. It was like out of like an avatar scene kind of thing. What's up guys? So today, I'm with Bud. We just arrived on this island called Nusa Panita, and we got the bike, we got some food coming in. In like, in like 10 minutes, we're gonna head out to Kling Kling Beach, and it's just the craziest view ever, and it's gonna be like a three hour hike, and it should be fun, so enjoy the ride. Look at where we have arrived, boys. This looks like some shit out of Avatar. The views are only gonna get better. You look cool, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Give him a little flex, bro. Hey. Hey, this shit's crazy, bro. It's crazy that we were checking Instagram for like Bali when we were gonna move here. And I saw this place so many times. And now we're here. It's like, it feels surreal. Look at how long of a hike. It's like an hour hike. Oh my god, great point, great point. Oh. 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 Jesus. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Dog's getting pulled. Oh, oh. Once we got down at the beach, we went into the water and we just got pounded by waves like every time. And the waves were, there'd be like little waves and then there'd just be a huge like 10 foot wave just crashing into the sand. That shit was funny as fuck, but it was fun too. Later on, back at the hotel, I tried to get a little calisthenics pump in, but I mean, it's just pretty hard out here, but we just got a little, some pull-ups, we got some push-ups, and that's pretty much all you can do, some dips too. But yeah, we're just trying to maintain a little bit, but I've already lost a hell of a game. One of the cons of the trip is not being able to like stick to like a workout or something like that, but which is like pretty important to me, but honestly, it's been worth it for the, all the experiences.
you get caught up in your routine, so it's good to get out of your comfort zone and try all this new shit. The next day, we got on an even smaller boat and headed to an even smaller island. There we biked till we found this restaurant slash bar that's on a cliff, and you can do a little cliff jumping. You get, so you're chilling out, having a little coconut. Five seconds later, you can be jumping off this little jumping spot and doing a little flip. I tried doing a front flip like Superman. Didn't work out very good at all. And Isaac also tried some flips too, and I had to get fucking captured. <laughs> or, uh, but yeah, that shit was fun. The current was pretty strong. We survived, checked out, and we went to uh, the Blue Lagoon. There usually you can do jumps and stuff when it's more mellowed out, but when we went, there was hella waves crashing, so we did not want to die that day, so we did not jump in. <laughs> Either way, it was still a beautiful spot. Unfortunately, we only had four days in Nusa Panitas, so fin to finish off our trip, we went to a natural pool. And we also, you know, did a little swimming, got some, some jumps in, and that was awesome. Bang, bang. Now back at the main island, first we stopped by Chengu. There I went for a few workouts, we did a little bit of surfing, and we also went out around Christmas and New Year's. But we did get sick again, so we did not film that much down there. Once we recovered, we went to a new part of Bali called Ubud. There it's more known for the rice fields, the waterfall, the nature, and having more Balinese tradition as well. On our first day there, we went to the sacred monkey forest, where you get to walk around a beautiful forest, like check these little temples, and also have a bunch of monkeys around you, hopping on you, and you can take some, some pictures. After that insane experience, we got some food, and we headed to a waterfall. All right, we got some food. We got nasi goreng, which is fried rice, some chicken balls. But got his Lizzy, fried chicken, and his two liter Coke. Gotta get big, boys. Am I even in frame? Yeah, I got you. Now the next day we went a little bit far away on the scooter to try to find a spot to surf and there was actually pretty good surf but when we got there there were no board rentals it was more of a people there were more experienced so they would just bring their own boards and there were, it wasn't a lot of people at the beach so we did not get to surf but we got we sat down and watched for a bit also after a bunch of attempts and getting all dirtied up in the sand I got a front flip, which was honestly pretty hype, so I was happy about that. And later on, we went to this bar, which was like a old saloon kind of vibe, and it had a bunch of games inside. We ran ping pong and a pool, and it was it was a great time. Traveling has really been opening up my eyes to how much there is to see, do, and learn out there. And regardless if you're traveling or not, literally the most memorable moments are when you just get out of your comfort zone, try new things, and meet new people. It's easy to get caught up with what's going on in other people's lives, but try to get out there and do something yourself today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.